Okay, let's do the second problem now, which is six and two thirds times two and one half. Now remember what's the first step we have to do because we can't multiply these like this so we have to make them into improper fractions. And we want to multiply three times six. We want to put our little multiplication sign there. Three times six is eighteen. And then plus the two up here. Eighteen plus two equals twenty. So we want to put that here and over the same denominator. So 20 over 3 times, now we got to change this one, 2 times, times 2 equals 4, plus 1 equals 5, same denominator, 2. So 20, 20 thirds times 5 halves. Um, and we want to multiply the top first and that would be 20 times 5 let's see you could write that down on paper 20 times 5 5 times 0 is 0 5 times 2 is 10 so it would be 100 of course you could always do that mentally as well so that's your new numerator let's zoom in and we want to multiply um, 3 times 2 is 6 and that's going to be our new denominator now we want to figure out how many times 6 goes into 100 and if we go over here off to the side I'm going to do that um, now how many times does 6 go into 1, we can't do that, 1 is too small. So how many times does 6 go into 10? And that would be once. And then you want to multiply 1 times 6, put it down here, now subtract. 10 minus 6 equals 4, bring down your 0. 6 goes into 40, mm, how many times? Let's see, we have to calculate. 6 goes into 46 times. 6 times 6 is 36. 36. And you want to subtract. And we have 4 left over. 4 left over. Now let's zoom out because you can't see anymore. Alright, so our whole number is 16. And our remainder is 4, so we want to put that on top of here. And then you want to use the same denominator. So it's 16 and 4 sixths, but we can still reduce that. So we're going to do 16. And if we reduce that by half, it would be two thirds so sixteen and two thirds would be your answer